Hi. So this week I'm talking about the fact that some people think Gen Z are missing out having never worked in an office full time. And I don't think they are missing out. I think working in an office full time is archaic. It's gone. There's no going back to it. It really made no sense. And we've proven there are better ways of working. And the next generation after Gen Z will not work in an office full time. They may not be fully remote. They may co-locate physically somewhere on a regular basis with their colleagues and co-workers. But I think the days of the traditional office have certainly gone and people need to rethink how to utilise those spaces. And the article in The Guardian that um, triggered this was saying that, you know, there's isolation, people feel, the Gen Z feel they're missing out for some reason. And a lack of connection. And one of the things I think we should do for everybody who joins the organisation is to have a formal, formal buddy system, if you like, where somebody is allocated a buddy who has been in the organisation somewhat longer than they have, so they know the ropes, they know the unspoken rules, um, the things that aren't written down, that can help with a smooth transition into the organisation. And depending how long that buddy um, is assigned, it's really up to you. It could be an ongoing relationship, um, but it's somebody that a new employee or new hire can reach out and virtually tap on the shoulder and say, how do I do this? Where do I go? Who is that person? Um, they can talk about who the stakeholders are, who the mover and shakers are in the organisation. That's probably not written down anywhere. So a buddy system is really, really good. The other thing to think about is, is mentoring, assigning a mentor. And we often think with mentoring that we assign a new starter, a person that's older than them, to mentor them. And that's good. But we can also do reverse mentoring, turn that on its head. Think how much you could learn from a Gen Z that's starting with the organisation. Fresh ideas, innovation, they're challenging the status quo. Um, they have an entrepreneurial mindset and they'll remember, they'll remind you that mental health matters. That's their number one thing. They're not going to put up with organisations that don't look after their well-being and they'll encourage you to speak up or even walk away if you find something in the organisation that does not align with your values or you don't feel respected. That's what triggers them and remember they are the first fully digital native. They can teach us things.